Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Beginning the Citadel of Spiders here in all of its randomly generated goodness. <laughs> Let's see if we can clear this place out with the Pikmin that we have got. Oh, that's a skitter leaf. Watch. Yep, see it's a bug. <laughs> Pretty weak enemy. Got a tomato here, but I probably shouldn't carry that back until I know things are safe, like say... Yeah, shear grubs. Oh, there's the exit to this place. Oh, another one. No, 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 not gonna happen. Not gonna let that happen. Hey, hey, don't carry that back. Where the other... Oh, what? Oh, I think another one carried something out. Yep, I just heard it carry something back. Went at the ship. And I was like, oh, yep, we grabbed it. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just gonna explore this place before... Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, always make sure things are safe before you, uh... Before you start moving, because... I should say, before you start trying to carry stuff, because you don't want Pikmin to be on a losing battle of trying to carry something back while, uh... While you're being dealt... With, I mean, while they're uh, being dealt with enemies, or they're dealing with enemies, excuse me. In fact, they won't even deal with enemies. They're just going to go like, oh, I'm going to keep trying to carry this and not drop it to attack. <laughs> uh, looks like the tomato is the only thing of this floor, and I should be doing that instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. So I'm going to, yeah. Uh, why didn't I just leave them there? Why did I switch captains? I don't know. <laughs> It's fine, everything's fine. We got all the Pikmin. We got all the treasure. This floor is clear. It's the Love Nugget! <laughs> mm, yep, treasure is most certain. <laughs> stuck on the roots. Most certainly cleared out. There we go. And going down. Woo! Yeah, you can feel free to leave whenever you get all the treasure, but don't leave before that unless you absolutely have to because. Otherwise, you're just going to have to work your way back over to the floor of which you lost the... Or I should say, you left behind the treasure on. And, yeah. <laughs> Alright, sub-level two is a go. Whoop. Let's knock down this gate, I suppose. It doesn't look like there's anything special behind it. Uh, but, there actually might be. This is why I'm knocking it down, because sometimes eggs fall down from the ceiling, and sometimes... You can get some good sprays out of it or whatnot. Not this time, though, as you can tell, but... Yeah, it's worth checking the corners by moving Pikmin into it or walking into it. Just for the sake of being able to get sprays and power up Pikmin and whatnot. Oh, yellow Wallywog. And we also got some fiery Dweevils. These are the spiders. They are pretty cute. <laughs> Just look at them! <laughs> Uh, I recommend that you take care of these guys with the captains rather than with the Pikmin. Because, oh, no, 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 it's gonna start attacking the Pikmin. Because it's close, okay. I mean, the Wallywog was going to. But I, anyway, the reason why I want, I recommend you attack these with the Pikmin by punching them, by mashing the A button here, is because they are hard to throw Pikmin on top of. And, yeah, you can just wipe them out like that, so it's a lot safer to do so. This is part of the survival strategy of the game, and oh, we got a buried ducky, uh-oh. Well, it's not a ducky, it's actually something else. There's a... Oh, no, no, it's, it's carrying... It's carrying it, the other spider on its back. Dang, do evil. <laughs> yeah, what it, what it does, whoops, is it, um... Is it... Is they like to pick up stuff that is dropped on the ground. And that's another reason why I want to take care of these two, is because uh, when Pikmin are carrying objects, they can put the put stuff on their back, and the Pikmin will be kind of stuck with it. <laughs> it's a rather interesting situation how, when that happens, but yeah. You, you kind of want to avoid that when there's other dangerous enemies wandering around here. Dang it! This is taking forever! <laughs> and another reason why I want to take care of these guys is because I want to take... To, I want to tackle the uh, Wallywogs with a... Stop it! And when they carry something, they'll still, that also protects them a little bit. But uh, anyway, the other reason why I want to take care of them is because otherwise they'll be combo attacking me with the Wally Wogs, and that would be pretty annoying. <laughs> no, 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 stop it, stop it. And there we go, finally. 
All right, now I am going to grab the purples and start wailing at the Wallywogs. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it jump. Yeah, and then I'm going to throw just one on top of it. Watch this. And it's going to want to jump straight up. Oh, I did it too late. I mean, it did it too... Uh, I did it a little bit too uh, too early. There we go. You want it to jump straight up and then throw a bunch of Pikmin on top of it, and you'll be able to throw Pikmin onto it relatively safely. Why I say relatively is because these are still extremely dangerous enemies. And it's going to shake them off. Go jump straight up. Jump straight up. There you go. Good boy. And I win. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to start getting this out of the ground by plopping the purples on there. Wait, where is my other group? Okay. Good. And there's a bottle cap there. I know about that. I see it. Uh, grab that. Some lipstick. I would not put that on your lips, considering that it's been on the ground and that stuff is sort of sticky. <laughs> okay. Take out the fire geysers and make it nice and safe. There's a rubber ducky head for some reason. <laughs> yeah, literally a rubber ducky head. Paradoxical Enigma! And it's also cross-eyed. <laughs> and... We got the bottle cap back. Lipstick should be back soon. RC Cola. Vintage. Creative Inspiration. And where are the others? Should be getting it... Come on, oh, come on, you can, you can get it back there. I'm sure you can. Is there anything else on this floor that I should be aware of that might be good to do? Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, what's the lipstick called? I forgot the name. Lip service. <laughs> How can I forget something like that? Oh, we got all the treasure. But, 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 who knows if there are some delightful eggs to uncover and get some sprays or p powering up Pikmin around here. But actually, maybe not. I'm pretty sure I explored all the corners. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess that means we are done here. Unless you want to take these guys back to the um, back to the pod. But, eh, I'm not really focused on that because I want to get the payoffs of that via the treasures that I get more than uh, taking enemies back to the pod. But there are certain enemies that you most certainly want to take them back to the pod because they actually revive themselves. And I think they're in this very area. <laughs> they are um, uh, spotty bull bears. If they have these weird looking lips, weird looking big chapped lips, they are a bull bear. And they are quite a quite an issue because of it, their uh, uh, revival capabilities. But if you take them back to the ship, they won't revive themselves. And wow, you took care of that wall like no one's business. <laughs> Um, um, let's look around and see the area carefully. Oh, that yellow one was lagging behind. Dang leaves. I must flower them up if I can. Hmm. Hmm. Is this like a bunch of blankness? Because <laughs> it's very possible that the game can generate pretty much nothing. Like, you know, it'll just have a hallway or a room with nothing in it. That's nothing of importance. Um, new enemies there. Anode beetles. Um, gotta get yellows for them because they are electrifying. Let's get the yellows. There we go. All of them. Nice. Nice one little layouts. That's what they do. So you don't want to have Pikmin between them if they are shooting you know, shooting their electricity out, and yeah, gonna keep that, keep it offset. No, no, stop it, stop it, no, ah, kill it, kill that monstrosity. But don't worry, these can't hurt yellows at all, so yeah. This thing, well, I, I suppose it is kind of handy to have around, because they put them in the ground, then you have to repluck them, and then if they're a leaf pickman, you can leave them in the ground to flower. And, uh, oh, I didn't show what I did there, did I? Um, what you do is you throw Pikmin on top of them and it'll flip them over, and then you can attack them. But it's only really safe to do this with yellows because of their electric personality. And otherwise, if they're not flipped over, they, they won't take any damage. So, yeah, make sure that you flip them over before they, um, I mean, before massively throwing Pikmin on them, just to save yourself a little bit of time, I suppose. 
And come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. Oh, you too, you too. Yeah, this is a pretty yellow centric floor, and here we got some sunlock water chestnuts that we gotta get back over there eventually. But uh, for now, I will just take care of these guys. Uh, there goes another one. And I'm probably gonna have to reflip this one. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, oh, that worked out. <laughs> I just ended up keep throwing them and. Yeah! Uh, black wall. That could take forever to take down. Unless I don't even have to take it down. I don't even have to take it down. Look how this thing generated. <laughs> it's like, seriously, what's the point of this wall? What? what? Oh, poopers. You again. Well, I should see another one of you. Eh. Eh. Stop it. Don't, don't plant them. Oh, dang it. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to pluck them back out of the ground. Well, I could actually leave them to, uh, um, flower, I suppose. Uh, and you'll notice that the... Um, that Pikmin tend to lose their leaves sometimes. I mean, lose their petals if they're whacked around or thrown off or something like that. So, that, yeah, that's another factor of having Pikmin battle. And did I just pluck them? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I just accidentally plucked them, but whatever, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, uh, when Pikmin are in battle or some stuff happens, they can sometimes lose their flowery or uh, bud status, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> But luckily, there's an ample amount of nectar in this game to uh, um, be able to take, uh, be able to finish that. I mean, to be able to reflower your uh, Pikmin. What am I even talking about before? I don't know. <laughs> uh, is this just like a part of a wall? Oh wait, I I'm already looping around. Okay, I got kind of lost in my directions there. Um, I should say my sense of direction there. All right, let's take a look around here. I'm pretty sure I cleared out um, all the main dangers. There is the uh, the can was over there, and I suppose I could take some of these back if I wanted to, but nah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, how, much, how many do I need for these water chestnuts? 20, okay. That's just the just what I needed. <laughs> Alright, we got that, and wasn't there something else on here, or wasn't I paying attention? Because I might, may very, I mean, that may very well be the uh, only thing on this floor. Do we see all the corners of this place? No, we did not. There's a, a side over there we didn't see yet. Yeah, it's kind of a confusing floor the way it generated. <laughs> come on, come on, everyone. There we go. <laughs> uh, hopefully there aren't any more of those anode beetles. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, uh, go back and get the yellows. But this is looking like it's just going to be a, a random nothing hallway again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Let's get some more guys on there, I suppose, and, uh, eh, I guess you could take that back. I'm feeling too lazy to get that from you. <laughs> and I will work my way back over to the exit. Well, exit to the next floor, because I'm pretty sure after this goes back in, the patience tester, <laughs> that's pretty much how a can is. Uh, oh, and there is, there is something else in here. What did I miss? What did I miss? Is there something buried underground? There might be something buried underground, which I need whites for. Um... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, yeah! Yep, there is! So, it's a good thing I have my treasure detector there, but you can't really miss the treasure detector anyway, so yeah. Doesn't really matter. Oh, this thing is huge! Oh, it's a seashell! Scallop, more precise, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, you guys, grab that, and that should be it. Yeah, I should have been paying more attention over here, because the, the treasure radar is probably going bling, 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 but over here, but I didn't really notice it. Or maybe I uh, um, related it, or tested it, I should say, to the um, uh, can that I thought, um, that I still haven't gotten at that moment in time, and I thought it was the, uh, the only treasure on the floor and whatnot. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I know we're not too far away from the base. Come on, there you go. <laughs> eh. mm. Mm. Oh, Ooh, shiny memorial shell. And yep, this floor is complete. Wait, listen, listen. Well, that wasn't the sound I was looking for. I was saying listen to the sound of the treasure te the treasure detector um, ending off there. Going down! Level floor. <laughs> level floor. Level four! Sub level four, to be exact. I think there's one more after this, and it will be 
completed. Well, providing I don't have any mass fatalities of Pikmin. <laughs> oh, water dumple. These can eat Pikmin rather rapidly, so try and stun it with purples or throw Pikmin onto it as they're coming towards you so that they don't so that they're on top of the water dumple and thus can't eat the Pikmin very easily. Yeah. Oh no. Uh how should I deal with this? This is another new enemy. A hermit craw mad. But I'm still thinking of how I should deal with this. Probably like Eh, I just don't want it to eat a purple. I mean, yeah, I can restart the floor, but I'm still playing it excessively safe. <laughs> just just because, you know, I'm recording and whatnot. I might be more reckless if I wasn't playing... I mean, if I wasn't making a walkthrough. Okay, I'm gonna throw one there, and it should attack it. There we go! Attack it with purples! Yeah! That's how it's done. And it also has a treasure. It appears to be a little dessert. Uh, come on, you guys, back. Everyone, except for the ones on the delicious chocolate. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if that chocolate is a brand. I wouldn't be surprised with all the in-game advertising this thing has. <laughs> um, no, it just looks like detailing. Yeah, I don't think that's any specific brand, although I could be wrong. King of Sweets! Delicious. Okay, that's gone. I should probably whack this wall down, because I see there's something behind it. What is that? It looks familiar. Uh... Oh, Bowser matches! Yep. Okay... Oh, no, one more, one more. There you go. Good boys! Okay, they will take that back. Wait, was there anything in... in here that I should be aware of? Because it may, may very well be... Uh, yeah, there might be something in this pipe, you never know. Um, I'm making my Pikmin walk around here, uh, because the whites might send something in the ground. But yeah, I didn't think there was anything there, because my treasure detector wasn't going, but I just wanted to see, because maybe... Uh, oh no, 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 another water dumple. Oh jeez, oh jeez, it found me! I mean, it seen me! The fire was ready, okay. <laughs> that was a little bit close, because those things can't eat Pikmin fast, as I said. Alright, here we go, it's, it's a match rolling around in there. Flame of Tomorrow. Be sure to call them if you'd like to order more matches. <laughs> okay. Uh, egg. This could very well be a trap. Never trust an egg. Yeah. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, it's safe. Is it really safe? Is it? Is it? <laughs> Sometimes bombs or something appears from the ceiling, and that can mass kill Pikmin. So yeah, it's another one of those randomly generated things that you just never know where they're gonna be. Which is uh, always fun, they have to restart floors, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, got that out of the way, and I should probably breed up some whites. Well, not breed up, I should say trade off to get some whites here. Because whites and purples, very rare. There we go. All together? All together? Good. There's probably another one on this floor um, somewhere. Usually when there's a um, uh, type of candy pop up, there's another one. And I was already down here, wasn't I? Yes, I was! <laughs> Gotta pay more attention. My sense of direction is just awful today. Uh, let's see here. Which wall should I take down? Probably this one, because there's an egg. That could be interesting, although dangerous, potentially. Dweevil could fall out of nowhere, scorch my Pikmin. Okay, break the egg. Okay, no, nothing. Okay, let's get those leaves unleaved. All right, I think I got them. I think, I should say, I think I got them all. Uh, maybe, oh no, another one. Another craw mad. Okay, you guys all know this wall. I'm gonna bide my time while I think of the strategy for this awkward setup. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I can deal with that. Um, safely. <laughs> um, I mean, there's also a combination of the um, uh, water dumple there, too. I could probably take that out with the captains. You know, the water dumple first. Eh. And then uh, go back over there with the Pikmin. So let's see here. Come on, go off the edge. Good boy! Eh. Oh! <laughs> Olimar! If you're not being controlled by me, 
You are an amateur. Stop! <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Okay, that's down. Is there another one around here? Just gotta be safe. There's a treasure there. You're probably carrying a treasure too, knowing you. Uh, maybe you are. No, you're not carrying a treasure. Oh, well, okay. Well, I could distract it and let the Pikmin get the treasure while it's uh, um, scampering around some other side or something like that. Maybe? It might be? Uh, there's the exit. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I think I'll take it on with the Pikmin. I think it's going to be too risky to try and take it on. I mean, to try and get the treasure snuck past it. So yeah, I'm going to do the same strategy here. Only I'm going <laughs> to... This is a difficult situation. What if I throw a red one here? Will you go for it over there? Will you? Will you? Come on. Will you? You're too smart to grab that red, aren't you? Uh, maybe? Maybe not? Oh, yeah! Whoa! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Destroy it! Oh, shoot. Oh, by the way, its uh, weakness is, is its back. That's why I have to get it out of the ground to do that. Well, I lost the red, but that's okay, because I got... Uh, um, the potential of seeing something around this place that can breed up my Pikmin rather rapidly, call it, call it Queen Candy Pop Bud. Uh, oh, oh, actually, maybe it won't show itself, because I don't have all the Pikmin colors, but yeah, I can't appear in here. But it's it's no big deal, I mean, the reds are pretty common and all. Okay, you gonna grab that? You gonna grab that? Yeah! Take it out, take it out, yes! Good. Uh, let's take care of the fire geysers. Good. This one too, and then of course, this locket is next, and I think that's all the treasure for this floor, I think. I'm going to give a quick once over here with uh, uh, Louie before I jump the gun here, because I have Olimar over by the uh, um, exit here, you know, just to speed things along when I'm ready. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 100%ed. Because, yeah, I've seen every corner of it, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, let's just leave them to do their thing, I suppose. And let's see who's on the locket, anyway. Um, actually, I already know what's on the locket. It's pretty funny. It's a doggy! <laughs> Time capsule. For your favorite doggy. Gotta lock it. Well, their favorite doggy. Alright, this floor is clear. And final floor! I think. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the final floor. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because this final floor could very well be the end of you. Yeah, it's the final floor. Because <laughs> I just noticed that, that uh, I see the arena for the area. Alright, by the way, there's another treasure around here somewhere um, that's not being held by the boss, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I'll probably end up uh, getting it with whites, because I'd prefer to battle the uh, boss with yellows more than any other color. Even more so than uh, purples. Oh yeah, flipped over! Give me more prizes! More prizes! Yes! More prizes! I demand it! Oh, a spray! Okay, it's done. <laughs> Uh, can I... Is there any leaves in here? I don't think so. That's the exit of the area. Alright, let's do the glitch or exploit or easter egg. I have no idea what this... Oh, shoot! I messed it up! I got too close to the... Ah, oh, whatever. I got plenty of sprays. It's fine. Um, anyway. Let's see here. I think the treasure is up here. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them to dig that up. And while they're doing that... Ooh, a diamond! That could be worth a lot. Depending on the buyer. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty sure I can move on over here. Oh, wait, no, wrong direction. Dang, this place is dark. <laughs> wait, where am I going? Okay, it's over there. Over here. Yeah, I can't even see the the opening. There we go. All right, grab. Oh, I was going to say grab just one yellow and then go and enter the arena. Actually, maybe I'll grab a regal diamond. Actually, uh, maybe I'll grab a red, because reds are a little bit more, um, I guess you could say rare in comparison to the uh, yellows at this point. I mean, yeah, I could... Oh, shoot. I guess I could breed up more yellows on other days, but, you know, it's just a thing of safety. You'll notice that there's a, a spider web going on here. See that? If you look at it from a distance? Get ready. 
Oh boy. It's going crazy. Where is it? Where is the treasure? Or more importantly, where is the boss? No, seriously, where is the boss? <laughs> Do I have to have all the Pikmin come in here with me to trigger it out of its uh, hiding spot or something? Or do I have to stand right in the middle of the light? I don't know, something is not happening that should be happening. <laughs> Alright, let's get the reds over here, just to get a bunch more Pikmin. Maybe it'll be tempted to come out if I have more of you guys here. Um, come on! There we go! <laughs> it's BD Long Legs! I'm sure you remember this boss from Pikmin 1. Well, unless you've never played Pikmin 1 or seen my walkthrough for Pikmin 1, its weakness are the yellows, and this is why I like to have the yellows for it. 20s are, I mean, 20 yellows are just fine. As a matter of fact, 20 might be a little too much. Uh, I'll just leave... Uh, yeah, I'll have 8. Its only attack is to squish Pikmin with its legs. Well, I should say its feet. And you want to throw Pikmin up to its body, and it'll attack and whistle them off before it throws them off because it might throw them off where the legs are and just sit underneath it and yep just keep repeating this it's it's a relatively easy boss overall just watch its legs and you will probably never lose Pikmin and I could probably get this done a little bit faster if I use the spray uh, but eh, mm, eh, mm, eh. Now, sometimes it'll do that stomping cycle twice in a row uh, and then you have to wait a little bit longer to throw up to its body, but still not really that big of a deal. Because it's, it's a really, really predictable boss. And this is why I don't like to have a lot of Pikmin. Uh, I should say a lot of yellow Pikmin, because it's easier to keep your Pikmin safe when you don't have this huge group um, that can be squished behind you. So yeah, as tempting as it may be to rush this boss, don't... <laughs> Uh, you'll notice that as you start lowering its health, it starts to crumble. Like, look at its legs now, and look at its body. See that? It's a lot more holy than it was before. It's like it's hollowed out or something like that. It's a, it's a pretty weird critter. <laughs> oh, I win. Woohoo! Yeah! Ooh, look at this! It's a key! Doesn't this key look really familiar? Like, tremendously familiar? Ooh! Sweet victory! That giant's in check. That giant insect's body has crumbled to dust. I'm quite relieved to know I won't have to store such an enormous bug. <laughs> Analyzing soil samples, anomaly detected. What? What's that glittering widget? I guess we'll find out. But anyway, yeah, doesn't this key look incredibly familiar? It only takes one Pikmin to carry this object. Surprisingly, it must be a really light key, despite it likely being all metal. But, uh, yeah, doesn't it look familiar? Like, maybe it's from Super Mario Bros. 2 slash Doki Doki Panic, or maybe it's from Super Mario World? Yeah, that, that key has appeared in a couple of Mario games, you know, that key style and whatnot. So, yeah, but anyway, bringing that key back to the base will open up something. Woo! The key! This object seems familiar. I'll combine it with the President's Parallel Dimension Controller. Alert! Sensors indicate a massive dimensional shift at a distant location! I'm receiving a message from far-flung dimension. Displaying the message now. Challenge Mode can now be accessed from the title screen. Yep, I unlocked a new mode called Challenge Mode, which I'll do a little bit later on. Well, okay, it's going to be pretty far off. <laughs> it's not going to be a little bit later on. It's going to be after I finish the main game here. But anyway, it appears they told gibberish. Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. Recipient, excuse me. I will name this apparently worthless device the key in bold red letters. And this floor is complete. Woo! And that means this place is now 100%ed. So let's get out of here and end off the day too. Because remember, there's, there wasn't very much time left on... Uh, on the finale, I guess you could say, of the perplexing pool, you know, of the countdown and whatnot. Maybe I'll be able to breed up some yellows? Maybe? Maybe? I'm not really sure about that, because that's... They have to take it all the way back to the onion in the middle of the area, and that's... That's pretty far away! <laughs> so, I, I probably won't be able to pull that off. But I can always get uh, Pikmin, you know, bred up on other days. Not really that big of a deal. 
Whew, that took a while. <laughs> like, 20, 20 plus minutes, I'm not really sure. Um, after I cut off the, you know, the little fluff at the beginning of the camera that, that's always there and whatnot, you know, that I'd use for syncing that I've showed in my uh, tutorial videos. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen, is it? <laughs> So I'm I'm gonna have to wait until another wait 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 whoa whoa whoa, whoa. how this yellow one get back here? I thought it was gonna be in the center of the area. Well, that changes stuff, except for the fact that it appears that all the stuff that I kill is not above ground anymore. Duh! Everything's messing with me. <laughs> well, it looks like the chances of breeding Pikmin are slim to none. Unless I was able to find something that I haven't already battled, that's not in the water, which I don't think is there, because I already got all the above land enemies that I could um, at that moment in time, I think, so yeah. Day end! Woo! Excitement! Oh, fiery ball blacks! Don't! No! You're gonna explode my rocket fuel! <laughs> okay, I got lucky. <laughs> Another day of toiling for the company is over. <laughs> Let's see here. Lots of treasures. Quite literally, a lot, a lot of treasures. All right. Mm, yeah, it wasn't really a productive day in terms of Pikmin, but that's because I was really focusing on the uh, the sprays and getting the yellows bred up. But I mean, you know, for the other colors and yeah. Wait, actually, no. What, what, what could I have done there that I I wouldn't have? I mean, that I would have wanted to do anyway. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, Olimar, terrible news. I thought I went to Happy Hulkatate Savings and Loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks. Oops. <laughs> and this is why you should always read what you're signing. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we go back over to the Awakening Wood. Because, you know, there's some blues to uncover. Well, discover, kind of, whatever. We know they're there. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. Wait, wait, wait. Something is going on here. Don't go just yet. I went to record another Pikmin 2 part after I made this part, and look. There's nothing... There's nothing in my Wii. And I, I checked the box. And the game. It's... It's gone. What the heck is going on around here? <laughs>